cloud haunts boomers to this day. It's big, it's complicated, but really it's just a clump of servers hosted by someone that people pay to use. That someone is Microsoft, Amazon, and Google in the form of Azure, AWS, and Google Cloud. Real clever there, Google. Really couldn't come up with a unique name, could ya? I personally have gone down the rabbit hole that is all things Azure, and that's the focus of this video. I've partnered with TriHackMe to showcase to all of you the absolute playground of fun that is cloud security. TriHackMe just released an Azure-based module that can help gamify your learning and give you a taste of some of the fun that we're having up in the cloud. We'll cover the various modules that they include, but first, a glimpse into cloud infrastructure and how Microsoft does it and why you should potentially consider learning all about it because you make a lot of money doing it. It's no secret that cloud security is way up there. You don't have to look far. This is the first chart that I found. You can believe it as the gospel, basically, and it makes perfect sense if you actually work in the cybersec industry. To no surprise, our omnipotent leader, <laughs> the CISO, makes the big bucks, having to deal with the big picture conversations between upper management and executives. Here's the deal. We are very rich. Uh, everybody reach. So let's sign this. So what's the worst that can happen? But you'll notice that cloud security engineers are up there, way up at the top. Certainly a fruitful career path to take. And of course, most people can't just jump straight into cloud security or security engineering. They have to have the same bare bones basics of cybersecurity analysts, penetration testers. But the beauty of Azure is that it has its own built-in proprietary security tools in the form of EDR, XDR, identity protection, SIM, XOR, behavior analytics, and just a massive amount of available security configurations. So if you're a security analyst who's worked at a company for a few years on the quote unquote Microsoft security stack, you will start to understand cloud infrastructure. It's a very natural progression from security analyst to security engineer, if that's the route that you wanna take. But even if you just wanna do security analyst or SOC analyst work your whole life, you would benefit from learning about Microsoft's security stack. So. Let's take a look at it. No, God, please, no. No, go away, stop it. We're not trying to scare them. This is what all y'all should consider looking into. Microsoft's security portfolio. If you're a security analyst, you'll have to be privy to Defender, Sentinel, Microsoft EDR, XDR, and their SIM SOAR. As an identity access management professional, maybe you'll live in Entraland. And if you're a system admin, maybe you'll live in Intune land. If you're a GRC nerd, compliance and privacy. As a cloud security engineer, you'll likely touch on all of this. Hence, why they make the big bucks. The beauty of Microsoft is that they're more or less a one-stop shop. AWS and Google Cloud, on the other hand, don't natively offer EDR. That's all managed together under the same suite. Sure, you have integrations where you can pump in CrowdStrike or Splunk or what have you. But if you're looking for ease of use, less headache, I say, go with less headache. We have enough stress to go around in our lives, but sometimes their stuff isn't doing what it's supposed to do. Microsoft support is of no help, but usually <laughs> less headache. It's too big to fail. Yeah, yeah, I know what some of you might be thinking about it, about having everything on one platform. It's a single point of failure, but come on. Too big to fail. Now, a typical enterprise security stack might look something like this. You got your identity management for user accounts, access control, got your device management, device configuration policies, and yada, yada, yada. EDR, second EDR maybe, you got a SIM that may or may not pull data from your EDRs, most likely your firewall, some form of email filter protection, some form of file sharing service, and of course, a SOAR. No proper security analyst team or SOC analyst is gonna be without a SOAR, where you automate things like automatic password resets, work on alerts in one central location, where every alert from all the tools are sent. You can triage them, remediate them, escalate them, and what have you. Well, Microsoft has wrapped all of that together in uniquely and sometimes oddly named security products. And this might sound like I'm trying to sell you on Microsoft, a true Microsoft fanboy. I swear I'm not. I just happen to know a good amount about it and learning it can be beneficial if companies are using the entire security stack. And even if they're not, it still gives you an idea of what similar tools work and look like. It might look good on your resume where you're applying to jobs that may or may not have a Microsoft security stack. If you've come this far, you might be interested in checking out TryHackMe's newest edition, Defending Azure. You get to do a deep dive into all the different security stack tools you would need to know as a security analyst, as a SOC analyst, or potentially as an associate security engineer. And I say associate because it doesn't really get into the nitty gritty of all the different things you can do with Azure security tools. It gets very convoluted, very fast. Trust me, I know. But it gives you an introduction 
with labs, an interactive Azure portal where you can actively configure and do all the things that you would do in an actual job. You get a touch on Microsoft Sentinel, gives you an introduction. You get to deploy an actual Sentinel instance. You get to pull data from a data connectors into the Sentinel instance, work through how you should go about actually working on a ticket within Sentinel and walks you through how to approach investigations. You cover KQL, which is the query language that Microsoft uses in both its Microsoft Defender portal and its Sentinel portal. This is crucial in understanding how to create custom analytics rules in Sentinel, which the Sentinel module covers, and also for searching basic things like network connections, device events, process events, and the more advanced you get with it using behavior analytics, you can build out some pretty sweet custom detection rules or become a ninja at finding suspicious activity from all the various data tables that you are given telemetry from. Now, of course, it covers Microsoft XDR, how to navigate the Defender portal. If you don't know where to click and where to look, then how are you going to go about investigating anything in the Defender portal? And it culminates after you've learned all the basics. It has two challenges to really test your knowledge. Now, I'm not going to be able to cover every single module in this video, but this would be the module that I'd want to do a walkthrough for live if if, say, TriHack Me would allow it. So if you want to start learning cloud security, Azure is a pretty big one and TriHack Me makes it fun. It's time to level up. Check it out. <laughs> Links down below. I expect you to become a cloud security guru by the end of the week. Come on, time's a ticket. Oh.